Now that the weather is getting really chilly, nothing beats a hot bowl of butternut butter butternut squash. On today's menu, an easy recipe so delicious, you better not skip this year. Coconut butternut squash soup. Lei Ho Ma, I'm Will Young from YoungMenCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Now that the weather is getting really chilly, nothing beats a hot bowl of butternut squash soup. And yes, there are a million different versions of this soup. This is only one way of making it, but I promise you'll absolutely love it. Preheat the oven to 375. Carefully cut the butternut squash in half. Scoop out the seeds. Place on a baking tray lined with parchment paper, skin side up. Bake in the oven for 35 to 45 minutes, depending on the size of your butternut squash. When the squash has fork tender, it's done. Let the squash cool for about 10 minutes. Chop about a half cup worth of broccolini into small pieces. Half a cup worth of thinly sliced crimini mushrooms. One medium carrot, roughly diced. One onion, diced. Three large pieces of garlic, coarsely chopped. Carefully peel the skin from the tender butternut squash. Now there's definitely nothing wrong with getting the canned puree if you get a good quality one, but man, if you do have the time to just put it in the oven, let it sit there and so easy just to peel it and you get this candy basically. Mmm, so good. For this recipe, you'll need about two and a half cups of squash. One last thing, this is canned coconut milk. Just leave a little bit set aside for garnish. Stock pot. Medium heat. Melt about three tablespoons coconut oil. 
garlic, onion, and carrot. One tablespoon Himalayan pink salt. Pepper. Saute for about five to eight minutes. A few sprigs of thyme. Squash. Two tablespoons skin sugar. Saute for another minute. Three cups veggie stock. Two cups water. 400ml can of coconut milk, about one and a half cups. Stir. Turn up the heat to medium high, cover and bring to a boil. Carefully transfer the soup to a blender. If you have one, you can also use a stick blender right in the pot. Blend on high until liquefied. Pour the soup back into the pot and cover to keep it nice and hot. Frying pan. Medium heat. Quarter cup dried shredded coconut. Toast the coconut for a few minutes until golden brown. Set aside. Wipe the pan out with a paper towel. After you wipe out the pan, you'll see that your pan is actually glistening with oil. So not only do you have some delicious toasted shredded coconuts, you also get some free coconut oil. Pan back on medium heat. Broccolini. Saute for three to four minutes. Mushrooms. Pinch of salt. Saute for another three to four minutes. Bowl. Place some veggies in the middle of the bowl. Pour in about two cups of soup. Generously sprinkle over some toasted coconut. Fresh cracked pepper. A drizzle of olive oil. And a drizzle of coconut milk. You can now make this gorgeous soup with absolute confidence.
I absolutely love when dishes you make at home and it's just so easy and yet it looks like this was served to you at a restaurant. Just beautiful and I promise, absolutely delicious. that is just brimming with flavor. You taste that nice sweetness from the butternut squash. It's super velvety, super creamy. And you really do taste the coconut that shines through. It's sort of subtle, but it really, really complements the incredible flavor from the butternut squash. And then the toasted coconut just adds an extra layer of that coconut flavor and a little bit of crunchy texture as well as the sauteed broccolini, the mushrooms just adds that earthiness to the butternut squash. The flavor is just really rich. It's not too sweet, not too salty. Everything just works together in perfect harmony and of course it's just beautiful to look at and really easy to put together. This is definitely a show-stopping dish. Absolutely love turning simple, humble ingredients into something that is just beautiful, delicious, and what I call a party I'd like to attend. Just phenomenal. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Be sure to pick up your free ebook that has five super easy, unintimidating plant-based recipes to help you get started with cooking today. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out. Plus, in that same link, you can check out or get your copy of the signed vegan ramen cookbook that I published not too long ago. And this book has recipes from ramen to noodle recipes that are not soup based, as well as some side dishes and some drinks that are all ramen related. So you can check those two things out in the link in the description box below. And of course, as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.